kind of cars and I went different kind of trips. I got way too many bras every day another bitch. All right, y'all know what the fuck going on, man. It's your boy, y'all. It's your boy, Haim. How's the director? Quar. And welcome back to the Doghouse Podcast. We back with a new episode. We got special guests in the building. Meatball, you know what the fuck going uh-huh. on. It ain't nothing. Ain't never been nothing. Uh-huh. uh-huh. We appreciate you for coming on today. Definitely appreciate you pulling yeah. through. Mm-hmm. Thank y'all. For sure. Go ahead. So, for? for the people that don't know, can you let uh, everybody know who you are, what you do? Um, I am a Instagram. Well, I'm not going to say just Instagram. I am a social media influencer. Um, you know, I just do a lot. I go, you know, I trend with all my videos. Entrepreneur too, because the, yes. the beanie's going crazy. Beanie's going crazy. So, entrepreneur yeah, for too. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Ain't so, nothing. what got you into like, you know, being like a content creator? Um, um, basically believing in what people, you know, said I could do. You know what I'm saying? Me, yeah. I think you could do this. I think you could do that. And I just thought I couldn't. So, I was just... Had to put my foot down and start doing this and doing that. You feel me? How like at school, people was like, you was like always bidding and like making jokes and all that. And people was like, dang, you could sure like start making vids. In school, I was always the class clown. And in school, I was always in the classroom with six kids. So I didn't experience being in a classroom with 30, you know, 36 people. You feel what I'm saying? So I was definitely the class clown. And every time I came to school, it was always a playground. What's up, me? Oh, shit, let's get the gym. We popping lit. You feel me? <laughs> Uh, How did you build your confidence? Cause like in a lot of your earlier videos, you was doing like some like some outlandish shit. <laughs> like what you mean, though? No. <laughs> you did you did a lot of things that a lot of people might see as like I might be shy to do some shit like that. But like, you, and that's you, the type you know. of person I am. I do shit, whereas though people I do it behind, you know social media and i'm just a person that does it on social media you feel what i'm saying certain mm-hmm. shit I, that i do on social media you might be like yo that shit that bitch really out of pocket like what is she doing mm-hmm. right. but the whole time you'll be doing the same thing too you're just not doing it for social media or doing right. it on social media right. it's on so camera, yeah man. so when did you, i'm gonna say when did you know like that shit went from like are they saying i'm drawn to like are people really starting to fuck with me now like i'm, I'm really like a boy now uh just being funny like i don't even know when like a moment somebody says something to you, like, oh shit, that go meatball, like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, people coming at me, telling me who I am and shit like that, yeah. So, uh, we're going to take it back a little bit. You said, um, basically, like back then you was in class, if somebody was like, hey, yo, meat, yeah. where did meatball come from? Like, who gave you meatball? Okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> y'all, it's so a joke. Um, okay, so, um. This um this boy was living at the bottom of my block and he was messing around with some girl and I was you know bidding with him like coming outside you know back then we used to be like I'ma grind you to f- uh-huh. you feel what I'm saying so it's like we was grinding each other up and he was like fuck out of here meatball here you feel me and every time you see me it was just like meatball and you know with this generation everybody diggy so it's like once the person called you meatball it's like everybody calling you meatball and they was like meatball oh it's stuck <laughs> off dick uh, <laughs> so that shit stuck off of one bid yeah it's uh, <laughs> it's not all to them cause they gave you something bro you like getting paid either <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so I got a question. Like, what would you say is like the hardest part about being meatball that people probably don't understand? S- say that one more time. What would you say is like the hardest part about being meatball that people probably won't understand? Like, that I'm a sweet person. Like, I'm innocent. Like, I'm not no troublemaker. You feel what I'm saying? I'm really a real, like, a real thorough person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't. I don't know. I'm just different. You think people look at you that way, though? Like, you try to, like, make trouble and all that? Yes, bro. I feel like I can't... I feel like, bro, listen, I feel like I can't even jump nobody without (laughs) a motherfucker waking up saying, oh, well, I seen Meatball. Meatball, Meatball, Meatball. I don't like that. You feel what I'm saying? So would you say Instagram Meatball is, like, a different character from Meatball in real life? A lot of people say, oh, yeah, well, you act the same on Instagram. You really like that on Instagram. Like, when they see me in real life, they be like, oh, you really act like that on Instagram. So I ain't going to say it's a meatball, Deja, or, you know, different characters. I feel like I'm the same person. You feel what I'm saying? I just got a nickname named Meatball. Right. You feel me? I want to know. So, all right, like, your earlier stages when, like, it was booming for you, what were some people that, like, you know, shouted you out or, like, was in them comments, whatever, that was like, dang, you seeing my videos? Yeah. Um, Tyrese, um, oh, little wait. little Duval, yeah, yeah um, Tyrese. Cardi B, uh, you know Ari. Um, wait, Tyrese, sweet lady, like, like how Tyrese you going lady? up yeah, and yeah, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and boy. yeah, so he I definitely know. offered me to be on a movie. Like he was like, you know, I should have put you on my movie if I could have known you. You know, make your little deep voice you be making and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I could have had a little play in this movie. So, oh, you know, shit. a lot of people Ari. 
G Herbo. Shout out to all yeah, of them. Yeah, shout out to all of them. All of them. While we on that, we seen uh, you was trending. You and Christian got a nice relationship. How did that like situation come about? She's definitely dope in real life. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Ain't nothing like that's my dog. Shout out to Christian. Yeah, she so a real like, one. What was y'all doing like when y'all? Cause I think did you go out uh, LA or something? Mm-hmm. What was some like vibes y'all was in, like y'all was getting into? I feel like um. Being as though I'm going to keep it real, I feel like I was homesick a little bit. You feel what I'm saying? I'm five oh. hours away from home. I'm just homesick. I feel like is she got a life ahead of her, and I got a life ahead of me. So it's not like she it's like she didn't have the time for me. So it was like I just wanted to go home. You feel what I'm right, saying? Right, but we right. still cool or whatever. Like, she ain't do nothing to make me feel no type of way. I'm still about to go out there. Like, it ain't nothing. Okay. She That's cool. Where did you stamp ain't nothing? That's definitely, like, your slogan right now. Ain't nothing. Um, so I stamp ain't nothing. I got the date in my phone. It was about like last year. Um, I came up with that. But like, why? But why did you pick that phrase out of everything? It's like, cause it ain't nothing. (laughs) (laughs) It ain't nothing. I don't think you realize you got a lot of like. Even if you ain't picked that, you got a lot of other like. Shit that you said before that like motherfuckers still say like, like yeah. that. You feel me? Like yeah, yeah. Go the scene, like, yeah. I, I, I that's lot of my lingo right. now though. That's some real shit. That's, like, like, you, that's, that's got, regular you, everyday lingo now. Yeah, no, we really, all though. must eat. Ain't Cause like, it's it, like it's crazy, right? You you're going you're going TikTok or something like yo from you know me, bro. Mm-hmm. They say even one of the, one of your vids or they yeah. say something like I know from the most part like oh you, are you from me about to do me, bro? Oh, yeah, like you tripping if I can't take your nigga type shit. Yeah, cause you like I'm about to beat the baby the fuck up. Like now it's like niggas are like going through some shit now. They really beat the baby. Fuck up, like you feel me, like <laughs> yo, like that shit. Cause I ain't gonna care. Like, all right, so you you got Instagram rolling, but you got TikTok rolling too. Cause like TikTok don't know sure. who the fuck you is, so it's a whole bunch of little kids. Just like I feel like mainly a, mainly mainly of my followers come from TikTok. Uh-huh. A lot of my followers come from TikTok. Um, that's one of uh, my bigger platforms that I got more than Instagram. I fuck with TikTok. That's really yeah. You know what age range you mainly like gravitate towards as far as like numbers wise, like on social medias? Like what you mean? Like uh statistics. Like do you know like mainly people that mess with you like for is it like really like the younger kids or like the uh 20, I 25? feel like I feel like uh a lot of old heads and kids yeah, mess with me. Like a lot of old people, grandmoms and aunts and <laughs> shit <laughs> like that. Yeah, my mom. Yeah, my mom. a lot of old heads like me and a lot of kids like me. Yeah, you feel right what I'm saying? saying? Why you feel like, yeah? Why you feel like them like type of like gravitate towards you? Because you're like real raw, and, un, like authentic. I don't know. Like I'm a trendsetter. I yeah, I say a lot true. of stuff and it goes viral. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I don't. So I don't. Which, I'm about to say I don't, my fuck. Right. So what you having that right? How did you know like you could turn all this shit into like? Or I can make money it's off this cheap. shit now. Like right. okay, when people started to say like me, like you gotta wake up. You know how much look what you're doing. Like you got a million followers, you got a million comments. Like you got to turn this around. You gotta, you gotta come up with some. You gotta stick to it. And I started to come up with a brand. And it's like now that I got a brand, I'm comfortable with doing it. So now it's like I'm on it. I'm pushing and I'm fucking with it. Yeah. So it's uh, like I don't even think, yeah. don't even think mm-hmm. everybody realized too. You got every shade of Philly in you, literally. Every hood, every <laughs> yeah. is all in one right. person. It's like you got every single side of you yeah. inside one person. It's like damn, yeah. like you really can't say, oh yeah, you can you can tell she a Nerf drone. You don't yeah. never get yeah. that. Yeah. That's yeah. meatballs yeah. Yeah. all around. Like, she <laughs> no, they do be taking out from New York though. You really good. They, good they do think I'm from New York though. I gotta tell them like I ain't from New York. I'm from Philly, y'all. Oh, what's like a crazy fan story you had? Like you could have just walking down the street, somebody like, draw it or like crazy, like something that stick out to you. Um, like what you mean? Like I need a little bit more. Like what you like mean? somebody might have been crying. It might have yeah. been oh my fucking yeah. god. Just you could have been with your mom and all these people mobbed you like anywhere, like where um, it shocked you. Like damn, y'all really fucking with me like this? <laughs> when I go in front of crowds and people's schools and okay. you know people let outs and stuff like that, you know, I get a lot of shocking people though. I ain't gonna lie to you, like. The people on the street scare me more than I scare myself. Like, when it's thousands of people running up to me, I'd be like, oh, my God, you know, just chill. Like, I'm yeah. one person, you feel me? Sometimes I'd be wishing I was a regular person. Like, this is too much for me. Like, do like, that type of stuff stop you from, I didn't mean to cut you over, like, stop you from, like, going to, like, malls and, yes, like, Yes, right, I'd be like, telling my mom, like, let's shop online instead. She'd be like, no, I just want to go, you know, go to the mall and stuff. I think my mom, you know, actually happy to be a star mom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Of course, a, a mom would want to walk the hoods and walk. They no, screaming meatball, you yeah, know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I, crazy thing is too, right? I think last summer I seen I seen meatball at a couple like parties last summer, and she was being hurt. Like she get was like, like, like everybody that was there, like they knew they knew it was meatball, but like she was don't like bro. She first of all we in the B and B, 
She walked in this joint with a whole seafood platter, bro. Like, like the mm-hmm. big. I didn't bro. offer. The, the big. Oh, you know, she did. Yeah, she like, yo, you want some crab legs? Yeah. Like, for rent, That's bro. That's one thing I do. She I came in with the. I'm like, oh, shit, bro. That's a BNB lights off. She coming to join to the lights on. Anybody want some yeah. seafood from the rip, bro? I ain't gonna lie. You know, the girls like, they get, oh, let me get a crab leg. Let me get. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, and bro, I'm like, she being her, like, regular mind. Yeah. Nobody on some fan shit. She calm, yeah. cool, on some. Then you got the bitches like, man, no, I don't want no crab leg. Like, but you hungry. Yeah. Like, but shit is meatball. You thirsty. Like, I know. I ain't, all right, so you real big in the city. I know in terms of female wise, you have a lot of haters. Like you go where I know it's hard. Oh, look, oh, look this bit. Oh, this. Oh. Yeah. And I know you. I know you people. Like you keep that shit humble because like you yeah. can really like turn that crank up. But you, for sure, you're from your brand now, so you just like tone that shit down. But it's, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's times like you ready to risk that shit all. Like, uh, yeah. Sometimes I be thinking like, man, like fuck what they talking about. Meaning when I say fuck what they talking about, meaning like. The shit I can lose. Like, bitch, I will break your fucking head. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I could lose a lot of this shit or money and all that, but I'll still knock you the fuck out. Because every time I get into shit, they always want to say, oh, you got a whole life ahead of you. You about to be on this. You about to be on that. You about to be on TV. Fuck TV, bitch. I will knock your head off. Yeah. Um, speaking of TV. What's up with the... Um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Because shout out to Zeus. Zeus. Oh, come on. What's up with the folks at Zeus? I ain't going to speak too much on it, but that was... What they talking about? Great Philly. Yeah, I don't really know. Like, I don't know. It's a good opportunity, mm-hmm. but Wait, you know, I don't know. What, what, what's the opportunity? What's happening? Like, um, like what you mean? Like, tell like, them what's going tell on. Them, yeah, what, what, <laughs> you, what, what you what, what you about to be on? That that big screen. The big screen, but it's still like she, basically she got a she got a chance to be on TV and basically shock the world. You feel me? Represent you feel me from Philly. Yeah. But you got you got y'all got to put it into accountability too. It's a lot of shit that comes behind it. It's not yeah. just like, oh I'm gonna do it and then yeah. boom, out about the like money. I yeah, said, we're about we, to being comfortable that. at what you do. You yeah, understand that, but like that's major that's, exposure, yeah, like, major that's super exposure. Like yeah, that's but all money ain't good money. All business We're ain't good even, business. I ain't, I ain't even. I ain't seen nothing about money. I know, but I'm just but saying. You sometimes, know. sometimes them connections and that exposure is worth more than the cheese because it's gonna bring you just. That's fine, and there's other shows out here, and there's other TVs. You know For what I'm sure. saying? Absolutely. Big screens. And the reason why I fuck with it though is because like I want to be on Juicy Show. Uh, oh, the yeah, talent yeah, John. Be fire. He that just dropped be fire. first episode. You yesterday. feel me? Yeah, like that shit high. That's what I want to do. That's more, that's more like you feel like she can still bid and then do her type shit. Like you feel me? It's too yeah. tight to like. You know, yeah, that's still. I want that's still a You don't. You don't want to just basically be like a one trick pony. You don't just want to be in one category. But see what you yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. I understand that. Would you want to do some movies? Like, would you want to like get on an acting tip? Yes, yes. That's what I want to be an actress. Okay. So, if you if you want to be extras, what part would you play? <laughs> like, would give you like, yeah, like, give me a, give me a role. You know that you gonna body for sure. Hey, bro, listen, suck the gun underneath. <laughs> can't play in the movie see y'all laughing already see that's what i'm saying see that's what i'm saying i want to be the one like you listen tuck the gun underneath the radio you feel what i'm saying when so, them so niggas like, come so in like, you already all right, all right, i'm, I'm gonna do yeah. you an example let's just say bmf hit you up you yeah. for next season bmf could go crazy from yeah. the front, from well, the real, I'm I feel like I ain't gonna lie. No, because there's a lot boy. of serious stuff going on. Yeah, I'm basically I'm, moving, moving. Yo, that shit, that shit, that shit, like, yo, <laughs> yo, you ever, um, you ever, you ever see Set It Off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they yeah, ever yeah. did remake a Set It Off, you would be Cleo. Cleo. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. sure. They, they actually say I look like Cleo. They, sure. they, <laughs> they say I look like Cleo. <laughs> no, no, so crazy. The reason why I fuck with it so much is because, like, like if she go, if she go on the internet right now, I'm like, yo. I'm trying to be on Set it off too da, da, da. Philly of really be yo Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be going back. And that's what I love About like, Philly You know what I'm saying like, right. so, no, I no. feel like I feel like you step outside Of the stigma Of Philly not supporting Philly So like how did it, Do that make you feel Like any kind of special Because like nobody else I feel like nobody else Gets support like you do Yeah um, Like what you mean by that though I'm gonna say I'm gonna elaborate I knew that shit was real when that fucking boxing event happened. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. shit was real. Like, the yeah. whole fact, crowd was in there. Matter you watched that shit. Like, yeah. Y'all yeah. know I had to pin my pride to the side, right? I, I said, fuck it. I had to pin my pride to the side. Sometimes I be thinking, like, man, fuck how I'm thinking. Get on that stage and show them what you could do. Oh. See, people don't understand that I'm really. Y'all might see what y'all see on social media, but in real life, I'm really like a shy person. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm really. I froze up sometimes. You was putting belt in the ass that day. Yeah, I, powerhouse. She was. No, cause, it ain't nothing. No, look, yo, it look, wasn't you know, nothing. You know, some, you know something that's crazy too, right? It was like I, remember, I know when we first we was looking. Uh, we had all males at that point in time on our platform. They was like, "Yo, what girl should we get?" 
from the rip. Everybody we did a we did a pool. Yeah. Meatball, meatball, yeah, meatball. Yeah. meatball. Y'all gotta get meatball. Y'all gotta get meatball. Y'all gotta get meatball. I'm like, all right, cool. So this is how we gotta get meatball. How the fuck we gonna get meatball? Yeah. Like, so like I'm you, break if, it down. you feel me? Like, oh, like, like yo, y'all gotta, yo, y'all gotta, y'all gotta understand how the fuck we got to this point. Cause like y'all, that this, shit ain't easy, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all. Listen, y'all, listen, 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 y'all, y'all, y'all niggas don't understand like how much I put into this shit. Me and my team put into this shit. I'm like, yo, how the fuck we gonna get her, man? Right. Listen, she got half a million followers. The city wants to see her. We not going demon are not gonna work. Right, man. She dropped some little fucking. She was dropped. She was uh, selling beanies. She was like, "Yeah, I don't got the uh, the website right now. Y'all can come to my crib." Pull up. Boom. She sent that. She put the address. I'm like, "Got her." Not just he pulled up for a beanie. Yeah. He pulled up just for you know, just to let me know a podcast was going on. And you know, I don't really do podcasts, so I'm like, you know what? Let me just try it. You know, mm-hmm. give him a chance and bought a beanie. You know, but you know, yeah, that's the one thing. Take away from that too. When niggas come up, like if you want somebody to support you, support them too. Yeah. If you yeah. can't come, we'd be nutty coming. And then they always want to have a favor, and we, man, bro. we ain't kind of checking support in the Definitely. beanies. Man, bro, yeah. I, I walk right up to her, like, listen, man, my mom need a beanie. She a fan. Listen, and we trying to get you full of pot. Like, where we going? Come on. Facts. That's what I did. And, and she pulled up. That's what I did. She, Not only that, she, she real, because, like, she could have easily just said, no, nah, fuck that. You feel yeah. me? Saying that she could have been on some type of shit. You feel me? Why y'all young boys on something? Yeah, I'm like, yo, like, I feel like we on something like, yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> so, you know, like, you know, so, you know, I like me a brown skin tall. Like, you feel me? I don't like niggas that got kids. You feel me? I'm a selfish bitch. I don't like to deal with the baby mom drama. You feel me? I just, yeah, I don't like no dark skins. Yeah, I heard it because she said she's going to beat the baby the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like brown skins, though. Like, yeah. Before we finish, a quick word from my sponsor. This episode is officially sponsored by 70 Minutes Apparel. Y'all really got to check bro out, man. He really got some shit from the hats, shorts. See, you got the shirt. Got the shirt on right now. Come on. Black on business. See, the art, the creativity is crazy. I got the beanie on. For sure. Appreciate it, man. I got all various different types of shit, man. To the sweatsuits, uh, the short sets, the beanies, the hats, the socks, sandals. I got a lot of shit, man. If you want to check me out, go to One Simply Business on Instagram. The link in my bio is simplybusinessapparel.myshopify.com. Tap in. Make sure y'all tap in. So, right now, you see in Philly, we got a couple known brands that's like okay. around the world, right? You got the beanies. So, when you start, you feel me, getting like way bigger to the point like you traveling here, you can book for this, that, and the third. You going to like set up something so there is like like a store, for example, where like you got your shit in the city. So like ain't nothing store or like, you feel me, like. So owning a store and opening a store, it uh, costs a lot more. You feel what I'm saying? When I could be putting that into, you know. My brand. I started my brand in the basement, and I'm going to continue it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm actually trying to move out the hood, not just myself, my mom. Um, so I'm more focusing on that effa store. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's like I'm focused on a whole other level. Like I want uh, to live financial. Like I want a house. I want this. I want that. I don't wow. want no store. You feel what I'm saying? I want to be in a basement where I started so all the money can go to me. Mm. <laughs> That's smart. That's smart. What's, you ain't got to cut nobody out. Not at all. Oh, some, oh, go ahead, man. What's some highlights that you feel like you already had in your young career? Like, what you mean? What's, the, what's your favorite moments of your career so far? Shit that you did or shit you might have seen? Shit that just happened to you. Like, a combo that, 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 that you even did. did. This meant a lot for me. Yeah. Powerhouse. Um, that was you know, experience. Highlight. Experiencing life with, uh, you know, a lot of celebrities. You know, Krishan, Ori, and. You know, a lot of stuff like that, basically. Right. Okay. <laughs> I want to know, back on the beanies type uh, topic, how hands-on are you with the beanies, like, creativity-wise? Like, is you coming up with the ideas, the designs, or, that, or like, you got a team that, like, y'all all doing it, like... Um, you got flavors. I seen you even did... You even did a... Like creativity wise, like because I seen you even did the beanies and made like a sweatsuit out of yeah. out of the beanies. So, like, yeah. so I come, I it. just I got a creative mind. I feel like once you uh, start your own brand, your mind starts to get creative. So you oh, start yeah. to think, yeah, right. okay. yeah. Like I always come up with this stuff, whether I'm off a shroom <laughs> or I'm sober. <laughs> you feel me, like. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I just come up with my own stuff. And then, you know, I got an imagination. So I just tell people my imagination. They put it together. And it just be like that. Like, that outfit I made with the Ain't Nothing, I made that out of my hats that I was selling. Yeah. I came up with that. I just needed somebody to know how to sew. Mm -hmm. right. Oh. If I, all right, so if you could have it your way right now, right, for far as, like, living situation, like, where would you be at right now? Like, what's, like, a dream city you always wanted to live at? Uh, I'd probably be in uh, Houston, Texas. <laughs> I said every time. I'd probably be in Houston, Texas, owning like three wow. houses. Crazy. A real estate owner. Because it's very cheap out there. Yeah, yeah, sure. You could get Gotta love the south. I ain't gonna lie, you gonna fuck. 1500 for a penthouse apartment for with a nice ass view? Drop 99000 I said, yeah, I'll be there. Gotta love the south. What's some, what's some advice that you would give to a, a young person from the city that's, like, trying to build up their own cool the brand since you didn't have so much success from yours? Fuck what people got to say. Um, I want people to have the best confidence ever, whether you disable or anything. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and just, I don't know. You just got to do it. If y'all if y'all watching this right now, she she let y'all know. She said she want to continue doing this shit out of her basement. That means she motivated. She don't need nothing, no big store. She don't need all this. She just need her. I be thinking like and I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. And then I be like, man, fuck, let me do it. And then it's like, damn, I did it. Wow, it was just like that. So I just want to tell people, don't never think that you can't do it. Sometimes put yourself towards the test. Yeah. 
Don't overthink it. Fail. Some people overthink it. Some people be scared to fail. I see you got your your family back here with you. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Them and had them, like, yeah, come here. Like, they my riders. Like, I don't got to do too much talking, too much I'm, fighting. I'm for a rider. They like, listen, we out. Like, yeah, we out. for sure. They talking, they talking, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get Justin real quick. <laughs> <laughs> they like, I want to go. Like, how important that they had it? Like, be um, and Pete the like, headwear. I'm sure they, everybody, I'm sure they know that I Everybody got the beanies. Uh-huh. But go ahead. We you how? How important is it that you know had a support system for you? It's lit. Like I don't know. It's lit. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> so how 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 your like your overall how your whole family look at you? Like I'm pretty sure you probably come around like like family you ain't seen a little minute. You know? I, well, my family think I'm rich. <laughs> 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 so um. They just look at me like, buy me a mansion. When oh, you get oh, this, oh, let me hold forty dollars. Yeah, like then my eye like, what you gonna do for grandma? <laughs> well, grandma, what you do for me? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me, grandma? <laughs> so did this like start changing for us, like birthdays, family, like reunions or whatever, like yeah. cookouts. Like, all right, dang, she expected to do a little more now. Like what you mean? Like it could be like far as like all right, it could be like Christmas or whatever. People yeah. expect a lot more from you now. Uh, of course, of course, and 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 I gotta set that. Whereas though my mom only could accept that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nobody else. All right. Do, I, do, do you feel like like when you when your number started to like flourish more? Do you feel like that brought more confrontation to yourself, or did it bring more love to you? Like, which more do you feel like you receive more right now? Like dealing with my life, mm -hmm. like more like this is lit. Like I'm lit. So more love for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's good. You know something that's. All right, so I, I remember like back in the day. I, I don't know if y'all remember back when they used to do like the little Jones on Chester Avenue, the little like the little uh, like the little annual little rap joint. They bring yeah. artists into oh, it. Yeah, 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 the little John. I feel like if you was to do that, <laughs> you feel me? Like a certain John, yeah. that should have like my own rap. No, not even that. Like, it don't matter what you do. You, you can like, host it. I mean, you can just host it. Like Real yo, shit. I just say, boom! I'm throwing a Philly talent show. If y'all yeah, got for this sure. and third, y'all come through. And say that, yeah. I feel like that should have rolled like off a... the show. That shit got your name on it for one, for two. Mm -hmm. You giving an opportunity because like no, no offense to any of these promoters, anybody, but like they always trying to get over no matter how it is. Because yeah. it don't matter. Oh, I'm giving back to the community. Yeah, that's an event. All right, cool. Everybody saw to the event. The joint is free, but if you get there, boom, pizza, twenty five dollars. Like, yeah, so, you feel me? They still trying to yeah. get over no matter what. You feel me? I feel like you come from a genuine heart where like you just want to see everybody winning. For sure, you want to see everybody happy. You want to sure. make sure that like this shit genuine. Like yo, this is me. This is what I'm gonna do. Everybody getting treated the same, and nobody you know got their picks. Like I'm gonna treat this person like this. Yeah, I don't do that. You know, you know, you know what I think you should do though. You know the the twenty went the twenty men. Women shit. They wanted me to do Dude, that. Be I don't even know how it's, I, you know, so when people text me, I don't even go to look at their page. I just see 20 men. The fuck am I doing with 20 men? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? How 20 men versus one? Like, what do you mean? Am I going to stand there and 20 men going to come in front of me? Coming from somebody who, 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 hosted, yeah, coming from somebody who hosted a couple, I ain't going to lie. It do sound crazy because when you text somebody like, yo, you trying to be in this 20v1 video? Like, mm -hmm. what you mean? Like, 20 guys versus you. Shit sound crazy from yeah. the rip. But yeah. then, like, when you got to, like, break it down, like, oh, right. I'm like, no, it's basically like you going through one by one. You feel me? If you don't feel them, feel me? They got to go ahead. If okay. You feel me? Okay, yeah, that's, that's tough. I'm going to be cool. The only difference okay. is with that, it's kind of like a... With YouTube, they kind of like a trendsetter. So, right now, that's that shit ruling. So, everybody okay, yeah. doing that shit. You feel I'm me? getting a lot of offers. Yeah, I... Yeah, I ain't gonna a lot of people like, want me to do if it. If y'all doing that, y'all probably gonna hate me. But like, I'm gonna keep it a bean. She she charging that bag, so y'all better come for money sure. Ready. You feel me from the rip? For sure. All blues. No twenty money. men, twenty thousand. <laughs> twenty thousand. You feel me? Twenty k. I heard it, man. Twenty k type of day. <laughs> uh, I heard you speak like on a situation like with your mom. I yeah. want to tap on that real quick because I know how like all of that resonate with all of us. So now I also seen. On social media, you didn't. I think I don't forgot what it was. It might have been Mother's Day or something. You didn't yeah. cash your mom out and just be doing a lot for her. So like, I want to know: Do you speak on that, like that relationship and like how that mean for you to being able to now do the things that you probably always wanted to do for her? Uh, I mean, you know, that was just something I always wanted to do for my mom. Give her, you know, ten, ten, ten thousand, yeah. and give her more too. But you know, actually, I, it's crazy how I just gave her this money. That was, you know, actually my brand money. That was my first ten thousand for my brand money. I had ten thousand before, but you know, having a brand your first ten ten thousand, I'm like, huh, mom, because she do so much for me. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's a single mom, two kids. She's do she do everything. So it's like, hun, 
And then it's like, damn, I gave her that 10000 and it's like, I'm up more than that. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever be like, oh, this is my last. You feel what I'm saying? Because you're going to receive a lot more back. So I gave it to her with no problem. Like, she deserved it. I just feel like she deserved it. Yeah. I just want to like, commend you for that because that's the type of stuff like. Yeah, yeah. Even like more coming ain't nothing. Should always like carry that same way because family, people be there for the people that's there for you before you become the person you want to be. Sure. Like that. So, uh, what's the biggest lesson you feel like you learned so far being in this little social media industry? Um, you will get a lot of people to encourage you to do a lot of stuff you're not comfortable doing or with. So you gotta go against your morals a lot like people gonna question your morals and Yes. Like that. Um I learned that you you know, you you gotta listen and, you know, instead of talking right away because you might talk your way into some shit. You know what I'm saying? So just right. listen more. Right. Um that's it. Like I just you know, that's it. So, all right, so what would you want people to remember about you? Like, if they could remember one thing about you when it's all over, what would that one thing be for you? Meatball was her. Like, she was, I don't know, because I, when, when, when I go, motherfuckers know how to present me. You feel me? Right. So it's like, I don't know how people might present me, how I present myself. Meatball was the shit. That was the Beanie Seagull. Like, she was her. <laughs> you feel me? Like, Meatball was, you feel me? Yo, no, no, nobody better not try to sit there. You either put that shit on the T-shirt. Meatball that shit was, was Beanie Seagull. You feel me? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 so I was her. I was a lit person. I don't so what know. You got, like, what you got coming up like that people don't know about? Like, what's next for me, boy? What they should look forward to? Um, well, I don't really got nothing coming up. I just, you know, I'm starting to do um, a lot more with my, with my life, you know, starting to do more bookings. Basically, how can I say it? Um, I'm ba I'm basically like, how could I say it? I'm how could I say it? Like I'm saying like, whereas though, a lot of people is giving me the chance to do this in their videos and stuff like that. I'm starting to you know interact with people more. I don't answer DMs. I don't respond to people. I don't text back. So now I'm on a tight time. Like you know what? Here's my email. If you want to book me, you want to feature, you know whatever trying, it's called. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So she basically trying to market herself better. Exactly, like, like she to, like, exactly. Build, like build your brand Hold more. Hold up, you said feature. <laughs> you rap? Yeah, sometimes. Let me hear something real quick. <laughs> like niggas on my dick. And if your dick was big, I would suck it and all that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't ready. <laughs> 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 he ain't ready. <laughs> My guy it got folded in his drawer right now, man. This is <laughs> niggas making he was to me. <laughs> You're not doing that. What happened? Look. <laughs> <laughs> what hell? Oh, shit got real. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I like when shit get real. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Let me stop laughing. I just got braces. I'm drooling too. Yo, yo, before we finish, a quick word from our sponsor. <laughs> this podcast is officially sponsored by Rec Six, the outerwear you got to carry with care. Man, yeah, make sure y'all tap in with Rec Six, man. The hottest clothing brand in the city, sponsored by the hottest podcast in the city. Yeah, please tap in. Check all the details. Tell you. I know y'all probably running like, damn, what do bro be having on with the six in the back with the RE? You feel what I'm saying? Yo, no, y'all already see. Y'all tap the fuck in, man. Please tap in. Come on now. Y'all don't tap in. You're a fucking loser. Y'all went home. My grandma had it on. It, it was just out here. Please just uh, get on a breakdown where it's stand from and what, like what it mean. Man, Rex, Rex mean king. Uh, six mean just family, and uh, I got your back. I started just I like clothes, man. I just like real different type of clothes. The soft clothes, the material of clothes, and um, one day I just. Really just started my own brand and they rock with me, so definitely real high quality. Uh, definitely you. real high quality. Appreciate it, man. And don't forget to carry with care. <laughs> he got serious. You brody, you brody, you brody. Mm -hmm. You bad. <laughs> yeah, you keep that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, it's been turned serious and shit for no yeah, reason. Yeah, like, I turned serious because he's bro, there you're gassing all it. cool as shit. He's sitting there gassing it. <laughs> he is. He can do that. <laughs> <laughs> keep trying to troll me. I got something for you. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, 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 he's so, like, oh, yeah, this why I know you ain't want to sit next to me. Huh? 
You probably like this one. I know you ain't want to sit next to me. I offered to sit next to you. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, ye
Cause it's like I be drawn. I be knowing I, I'm a drawn ass person. You feel what I'm saying? And it's two different types of drawn. You could be drawn on this type of time, or you could be drawn on some. Yo, you really on some bad shit. Like you need drawn. Like. You feel me? So it's like I be drawn on the type of time. Like yo, you really funny as shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like shit, I don't really be drawn. So, um, not including yourself. What's some content creators in the city? You feel me? That you looking like yo, these really funny as shit for for. Mm-hmm. In Philly, yeah. um, it's not a lot of people in Philly. Anybody that you just fuck with? Uh, Drewski, I definitely fuck with Drewski. Um, um, I don't watch too many people. I follow a lot of people that motivate me with blue track, blue checks. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, nobody in Philly make me laugh though. I mean, Funny Boy Quill. I shout out the Funny Boy Quill. That's nah, my I fucking dog. That man right there makes me laugh. He funny he as shit. Laugh. He makes me <laughs> laugh. Funny yes, yeah. yes. Funny boy quilt, yes. All right. So, I, oh, go ahead. And, and, and Southside Juice, all the juice. Ain't nothing. I was waiting for him. Hello, you. So, <laughs> let's just say right now, you get a, uh, you feel me? We leave out of here, you get a call, boom. Drewski team, like, yo, we trying to collab on something. I hear you speak on Drewski a lot. Would you rather take the Drewski, you feel me, deal than what you got offered before you feel me, we started? For the Zeus call? Yes, I'm definitely going to Drewski. Okay. Because what I tell you, it's something that you got to be comfortable with, comfortable right. doing. You feel what I'm saying? Not even that when somebody offer you something or when you putting yourself in a situation, I'm sure y'all be having that feeling, that gut feeling like, hey, no, I shouldn't do it. Right. Yeah, I should do it. Mm-hmm. That first thought, you shouldn't do it, you shouldn't do it. Okay. So it's just like I had that first thing in me. I just was like, you know what? I don't even want to do it. Fuck what people talking about and what they think I'm gonna look good on. Right. I'm going where I want to go. Yeah. You don't think you could start one? I was, I was thinking, thinking about that. that. I feel like you could. I feel like you could start one. But see, I mean, why can't we? Uh, people can't come together. Yeah. People, girls, niggas, they back down. Girl get beat up, they want back down. We need something like we all we all in the Poconos and shit. We yeah, beat the girl up. She can't call nobody. Philly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, we far, bitch. We yo, got your yo, ass. Philly definitely got a lot of dickheads. Yeah. What I mean by dickheads, yo, I mean like people that do dumb ass shit. Yeah. So you know I mean? Philly, we call you a dickhead. Like Philly, you signed a contract. You still disobey the contract and nothing happened. Like, your shit is weird. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I mean, just like you said, if you take, you got to take them out somewhere. Like, like, for example, if y'all, if you, let's say you had one, you got people from the city. I take me personally. I take them to Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore. I'm cute. Baltimore is like Philly, but like yeah. that shit. Baltimore. It's a whole different yeah. ball game out Baltimore. Yeah, you for have sure. To like go at you. You feel me? Go at you. For you sure. Me, monogam, but it's like you got. Yeah, yeah so I'm, and plus, it's, first of all, anywhere you go outside the city, it show who they people true colors. Because for sure, like, people's only hard. I don't know offense, but like some people's only hard in the city. Right. You go out the city, every, some people change, they fold up. There's only a certain amount of people that keep that same, I'm from Philly, wherever yeah. they go. You feel me? Like, it's certain yeah. vids, like, all right, cool. I know he's from Philly. You're out Miami. Yeah. Okay, I know he a Philly nigga. Yeah. Well, I know he a, you feel me? And there's yeah. some people just like, you couldn't even tell. Yeah, for sure. So, me personally, on a lighter note, I love getting into, like, relationship topics. Yeah. So, I want to, I seen this trending on social media. I want to get your take on it. So, like, how you feel about having an ex, ex your partner for sex in a relationship? My ex, my ex boyfriend? No, how you feel about having to ex your partner for sex in a relationship? I don't got to ask for sex, nigga. I don't know if I should toot it or what. <laughs> no, I'm saying like, you feel like, like you're you in a situation where like, it seemed like, all right, you always got to ask for it. Like, how you feel like you like going about that? Like I don't never got an ex for sex. I no, never I had to. to. You, I'm saying if that happened to somebody. Like, it could be like your friend. hypothetically. Yeah. She hypothetical t- situation. I feel like she telling you right now. It'd be on a tight tip. She just laying there. He just say spread them and it is what it is. Like, but you tell her like, all right, but it might be time to get another nigga or yeah. like. Yeah, I'll be somebody should handle that. See, that'd be the downfall of the fucking friends. That's how <laughs> shit don't work. See what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm not advising nothing. All right, like niggas. It's, all right, ninety percent, of it's bad, but that ten percent of it's good. Cause I know it's some friends is generally like they really want to see you winning. Now. If they know you can do better, if you dating a two, and you know damn well you can pull tens. Yeah, I'm a I'm a low key like steer you towards it. I'm not gonna try and fuck it up, but like same time, I scared it. 
But you got, but you got, you got to realize. Be for but look, look, like you got to realize that yeah, the two might be right. better, but at the same time, I she, all it. she want to do is make sure her friend happy. So let's just say she in a relationship, she might feel like she happy, but like it's affecting. I don't her like when friends now. straight up say when shit go on. Friends say leave that nigga. That's why I don't tell friends nothing. Yeah, that's because if I talk to my friend and she like leave that nigga, no bitch, what you want to be with that nigga? You feel me? Like oh, she don't look happy to me, but she's saying she's happy. Like that, that was that was that's kind of crazy. But look. I'm not going to, in that, in that situation, some friends, like, let's just say, right, I'm pretty sure everybody had a situation where, like, their friend got into a relationship, they start acting different. Right. A lot, mm-hmm. a lot, a lot of people do that. When they get into a relationship with, like, a male, yeah. he start, he start, it started to change them. Like, they start being more controlling or something. Because he do. just got something. And, yeah. That some, 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 some people, they want their friend back. So they might do some out-of-pocket shit to make mm-hmm. sure you break up because they want what they had. Yeah, for sure. But, you feel me? On their end, you might be ha- the happiest you've ever been in your entire yeah. life. But yeah. your friend... She like, damn! I just wish I had my. You feel me? But some people don't know how to go about it. So how they come off is they come off rude and fuck the relationship up yeah. every time. Yeah. And it's like, damn, your friend's nutty. But yeah. the time we not looking at like, they probably just you feel me? One of yeah. the good times back because you probably used to go up with your friends every night. Y'all chilling and standing third. Yeah. She in a relationship, I ain't gonna you lie. barely see her. Fuck them friends. I ain't trying to hear that shit, bro. Like you in a relationship, that's what comes with it, bro. I have yeah. a wife. I have a girlfriend, bro. Mm-hmm. I can't kick it every day. I'm grown as shit. But I'm not about to keep being around y'all to make y'all feel happy. Go Is fly, Meatball more of a you more of a lover girl or, or are you more of a like dog? Sometimes I be like I'm about to fuck this nigga and keep it moving, but then it be like, damn, <laughs> I just fucked this nigga and court fillers. Oh shit! Uh, uh, so I'm a so lover. So you could easily still fall in love. Yeah, so I'm a Scorpio. Like, I fall me, in love oh, fast. Okay. So tell me like a uh, you, you going out sad about a nigga like this? You went out sad like damn, like I was, I was nutty. Yeah, I was drunk. I up. knew you went out nutty. Um. <laughs> Nah, uh, recently I just laid up with a nigga on Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what you wasn't supposed to be? Um, it, I, it, it was th- but it, it was wasn't my nigga. Mm, okay. You okay. feel me? But the nigga that I supposedly was talking to didn't get me anything for Valentine's Day. So, I mean, like, why you mad? Oh, you took it there. Oh, yeah. you petty. Why you mad? You ain't give me nothing for Valentine's Day. So, what I choose to do was lay up with another nigga that got me something for Valentine's Day. Yeah. He didn't, but still he got some money. <laughs> yeah. I got some dick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I pray for that the, young man. What's the what's the all right, so um in terms of first date, what's like what's somebody gotta do the first date is like okay, it's like all right, this John, this John hot. Cause I feel like some all right, there's different types of niggas. This the we gonna go to my crib first for me first date. We gonna go out to eat first date, or just like we gonna chill, vibe, talk first date. Like what you? I like to eat. So where we going? What? All right. Any any restaurants off limits? They're like, no, nah, don't take me there. Yeah, you know they were saying Cheesecake Factory is up is out of pocket. I don't think that's. I don't like them restaurants where it's though you gotta dress classy. Like I'm that's not a cool, hill person. Cool. Oh. I'm trying to go in and eat, nigga. I ain't trying right. to have no. So like, like, shirt. Can't I be inside eat. out. Applebee, Applebee's two for twenty eight. Two for twenty. Oh yeah, that's my favorite restaurant. Yeah, ain't two nothing. Two for twenty. Uh-huh. <laughs> a chicken, bourbon, onions, ketchup. <laughs> yeah, that's my. Sh- I, all right, so um, do you see yourself being married in the future? No. No kids. I feel like I'll have 10 kids. Yes, that's what I want. Oh, 10 kids. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, 10 whoa, whoa, kids, no marriage. Yes. How many baby dads? Yes. No, kids? I want 10 kids. I want 10 kids, five baby dads, two by each one of them. <laughs> two, four, six, eight, ten. That's 10. She, she pulled the math on him, too. Yes, and I, I've been saying that since I was in this age, and I'm 22. I've been oh, saying that. So. Five different niggas, though. Because I just feel like nothing don't last forever, not even wedding rings. Rest a piece of P&B rock. It ain't nothing. You heard them? Don't nothing last so forever. So you want you Listen, want five niggas in case age, one die. I might die? meet you, have a baby by you, <laughs> bang the baby. You start acting where I'm moving on to the next nigga. He might start treating me better than you. I wind up having the baby one. He might do some of that shit. I might keep it moving. And why had to have the baby by him? You got insurance. Life niggas. goes on. Yeah, she got insurance. What are you, you waiting for? Insurance, insurance, niggas. Insurance, like, insured niggas I'm, and insured I'm kids. Gonna, I, I low key feel yeah. I low key feel some type of way about that because I'm gonna keep it a being right. I'm pretty sure like eighty percent of Philly, y'all, all y'all siblings don't got the same dad. Let's keep it real now i'm pretty sure your little brother got a whole different dad your yeah. sister got a different dad your mom basically was doing the same thing meatball was doing Let's keep it a bean. See, i can't be mad at it but i ain't gonna lie y'all gotta blame it on the niggas though 
Oh, so niggas ain't shit. Oh. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 we ain't gonna put the, it there. The like niggas it. not the ones that push the little bodies out of them. Yeah, we do that. Right. We run the world, but y'all niggas ain't shit still. You ain't had to open your legs. Y'all run off. Well, you, you should never say, can you eat dick up? I mean, they you, you, you could have you could have stopped everything they with your legs. See, this the thing. This the thing. Y'all want us to do something when we do it. Damn, y'all just put an episode in us. Damn, you didn't I just have had to say yeah. That's kind of crazy though to blame the guy. I just want to feel good at the time. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> then y'all get the bag in. So you're not gonna you suck my dick. All right, go ahead, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Just cause we don't suck your thing, y'all gonna tell me go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Now we go. Yeah, that's that's cool. Why we can't get the bop though? I just met you though. What you mean? Can I get to know you? You want some money? Hmm. Nah. You want some money on? It depends how much you got. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> See, listen, this is the thing. I'm really hurt, so you can't forty dollar me. Right. 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 So how much do you got? Because right. it's going for more than forty. I could yeah, money. for yeah. sure, for right. sure. So I got one even better. How you how you feel about tricks? Yeah. Mm, I ain't even gonna hold you. I respect them. You respect them. I respect Wait, all tricks. Them? Shout out to the tricks. Some, uh, shout, shout, out to the tricks. shout out to me, bro. Shout out to me, bro. Shout out to the tricks. Shout out to the tricks. Yeah. 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 Why are you respecting them, though? I respect them because this is my thing. If you are um, don't have no income, and you know, <laughs> my mom told me, listen, as long as you got that ass, you will never go homeless. And if you understand, then you understand. No bad. Hello. No bad. Okay, pay attention. No bad. All right, so Jesus Christ. No, 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 no offense to y'all. You feel me? How? All right, so break. You ever dealt with a broke nigga? Uh, all the time. <laughs> so, all the time. All the time. All the time. So, 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 all the time. Keep, so keep it up being for the for the motherfuckers out there. You feel me? That's talking to a broke nigga. Right? Get him some advice, cause I'm pretty sure. Like, see that nigga? He hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, for real though. No, listen, I want a nigga could be broke and he definitely could treat you right. You feel what I'm saying? No, but I ain't listen. Shout out to them broke niggas. Listen, if you are a broke nigga, do not tell girls you're fully live. Don't tell her like, yeah, <laughs> I'm broke. I be wearing my homie, you know, jeans and shit like that. Cause we start to use that against y'all. <laughs> Yo, you feel what I'm saying? So wait, wait. It's just wait, yeah. It's niggas, a shout out to them niggas that make shit look good too. It's a stigma though, like broke niggas will fuck the bricks off you. Yeah. But the like niggas that got more cheese ain't really got time like Man, that. listen. Is that true? Yes, that's true. A nigga that's broke and weird, ooh, yeah, fuck me. He's so yeah, they the ones that got the best. I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna cap I ain't gonna cap, bro. You gonna be mad at me. I don't give a fuck. You feel me? We can talk about this shit later. I got a homie. He not a broke nigga, but like, bro, like he be on some, he do some broke shit sometimes. You feel me? So listen, yo, no, bro, yo, bro, be crushing, right? No weird shit. Yeah. But girl, she talking about you don't got nothing to your name. Shorty brought him a pack of beater and some socks. Yeah. I lie to you not. She in there drilled the Lulu over this nigga like Shorty, mind you. She living in what's what's the shit called? Lower Marion, nice ass crib mm -hmm. driver yeah. the bands. Yeah. But she cooking bro, bro. Bro, no, come on. Couch to couch with somebody. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, I'm like, oh shit. Actually, I'm like, why you fucking with bro? Hold up, that's what I'm talking about. So he gave me something that y'all other niggas can't. Go ahead. You know why? Because she bought him with the socks with the grip at the bottom. He fucking the brakes off her. That's why. No, listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen. That's what niggas fucking with. No, look. Ho, ho, are y'all some real niggas? Yeah, for sure. What's real to y'all? So. What's real to y'all though? Why is it being true to you? Regardless of whatever your, whatever your circumstances is, you not trying whatever to guess it more. Dope, yeah, I'm gonna Hold keep on, it real. Whatever cars was dope for you, you go with that. Yeah, a lot of niggas fuck up trying to be something that they're not. Yeah, I'm gonna keep That's it real. That's not a real nigga. I'm yeah. not. A, be yourself. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a real nigga. I lie too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Damn, no, at least you know. This nigga is a bitch ass liar. I hate a liar. I'm a liar. If you a liar, you're That's the only bad thing to me, though, bro. He's still, he's a thief. Like you just said, we just said your man. He's a thief. You said your man was talking to somebody that was in Lower Mary, had a band. A lot of niggas need to learn to talk to people in their tech. Like, can we be realistic here, bro? You know she gets six figures. You don't have $6 to your name. Why would you even go DM her? Why? True. What you doing that for, bro? You setting yourself up for failure. Niggas be I, I, fucking like, for a house. No, 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 weird, no, weird shit, no, 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 you can't compete she be, with it. Yo, niggas be niggas be vibey though. Like, I, that's what, I'm gonna keep it a beat. Like, yo, yo know, girls like, like, like to take yo. care of niggas too, bro. Yeah, like, it's like it's like a uh, it's like mommy fever or something, bro. Like, you think a nigga hit you with enough vibes where it's like I'm taking care of him? Like what you mean? Like, all right, he a cool ass nigga, thorough as shit. I ain't gonna lie, but like, yes. he ain't got no cheese. But he, like, he give you a great time. You yes, think? see, yes. Like I take care of him. Yes, see? and that's and that's, that's what's problem nigga. with people like me. I take care of them, bro. Bummies. That's real nigga shit. <laughs> <laughs> do it make you feel? Do it make you feel good? Like when you take care of a broke ass nigga? Yeah, but then it's like, damn, it do make you feel good. 
When you fuck with a broke nigga, you said it yeah. make you feel good? That's, that's, that's crazy. You that's fucked up. Bitches. You ain't got it, now I want to be around. We fuck with broke bitches. When you got it, I want to be around. Uh-huh. I want to fuck with you when you ain't got it. I want to see you go get it. Right. Maybe I could come around a nigga and he ain't got shit, and I could just be like, yo, go get that shit, or I'm not fucking with you. And he gonna go get that shit. Uh-huh. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Sometimes you can make a nigga do what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, but you definitely can't he change a nigga. the fucking ceiling. Now he, oh shit, I got a little bit of motivation. Yeah. Right, so, that's, that's, that's a good question right there. Before we finish, a quick word from our that's sponsor. That's a good question right there. So all that going on, how can you, how do you separate like, are these people really fuck with me or they fuck with what I got going on? How do you know the what difference? Is like, how do you know people's intentions with all this you got going on? See, like, niggas, uh, what niggas are rich is just regular people. Like, just period. Like, are right, we gonna say we gonna say everybody? Like, yeah, just in, in general, general yeah. just real shit. See, everything will go good until motherfucker asks for a handout. Okay. Like, I don't know me like that. You ask for a handout. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I don't you know you. Know way you go about the handout stuff? Like, cause there's some people that be like, all right, I'll tell you yeah, one time. If you ask me again or you ask me sooner, it's like, all right, now I know what you want. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I I'm a type of person that wanna see how long can you take advantage of a person like me. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just okay. got you two hundred. Let me see Let's if you're gonna you speak to me in a couple mm-hmm. more hours. Okay, you didn't call me. Okay, so okay. now you just called me the next day and you asked for 200. Now you mad because I ain't give you 200. Mm-hmm. You ain't say thanks or you ain't called me in the last couple of hours yesterday. Mm-hmm. So you get to nothing. Right. How you, you feel what I'm saying? How you feel on that type of tip? How you feel about, like, all right, so say it's your, like you didn't, like, looked out, whatever. How you feel about like your birthday to people? Like, yeah. if somebody don't call you or text you or this and that, it's like, all right, <laughs> I see what you, like, what our relationship really is. Yeah. I ain't even gonna hold you. No, we getting so older, we don't even be worrying about birthdays. I know a lot like, of I get, chicks. I don't ask because I know a lot of chicks that really be taking them birthdays to heart. Yeah, like all my birthdays, I ain't really do nothing special. I was all, I came from the trenches, bro. Like I ain't never go to Dubai on my birthday and shit like that. I just told my homie that I ain't never celebrate my birthday. Like every yeah. single year, bro. I, no, I, I'm, that's why I'm this age and I don't even care day. about like, it. Shit. Cause no, look, I got homies like yo, they want to do the whole birthday dinner and shit. Me, when it's my birthday, happy birthday, good luck, bro. I go to work. I'm mm-hmm. here. Niggas it's, my it's, own friends be like, we should throw a party up upstate. I be like, throw a party for me, but upstate. Like, y'all really think crazy. people gonna come out for me? I be like, yeah, you die. yeah. crazy, crazy no, shit. Some, some like, like certain. I feel like certain shit like that. That shit don't mean nothing. Just like uh, to certain people, material don't mean shit to them. Like that yeah. whole designer shit yeah, don't true. mean nothing. They don't. Yeah, like, yeah. They don't really give a fuck about that shit. So, all right. Before we got here, right? Mm-hmm. I just want to give you your flowers. Because you, I, I keep hearing you say like you don't understand like how big you are. I want you to understand like you know you have to take out how the fuck y'all want. She a legend, bro. She sure. a legend in Philadelphia, a Philly legend. Bro. Philadelphia Facts. legend. No she bullshit. left a major Facts. mark on the city. She will never ever be forgotten. For sure. Never. I'm stamped, nigga. She's stamped, and it ain't nothing. I'm telling you, it ain't nothing. We really appreciate you for coming on today. Yeah. Like, Hell like, yeah. I really hope ain't nothing. Hell like, yeah. for real. Like, I want to come back. You want to come back? That's what I'm talking about. I want to come back, but I want to compete with a motherfucker. That's cool. Like you right here, and there's somebody right there, and I want them to be on a tight time. Like I think this is cool. I don't think this is cool. I feel you. Talk about it. Base show feature. Me, me boss, no more. All right, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, one thing, one thing I do right. want to say too, right? You sat here. A lot of people they come on this platform. Did you feel comfortable coming on this platform? Yeah, I did. Y'all wasn't too, you know, too much. You feel this is what I like. This is just right. You know what I'm that's saying? That's what, that's what, what you want. Yeah, when you come to the doghouse, for sure. Come to the doghouse. Show us some love. Absolutely. My last question before we got here. I'm gonna give you three different relationships in your life. I want to know how you feel like those people would describe you. Okay. So your family. Like how would you mean? Like give a couple, a couple, a couple words to like how you feel like your family would describe you. Meatball funny as shit or meatball crazy as shit. Yeah. Meatball funny as shit. She loyal. You you know she the the best one I ever had around. You know my the best daughter. And you said they they think you rich. So yeah. All right. What about your friends? My friends think I'm fucking rich. Your friends think you rich too. (laughs) My friends think when I go out to eat, I gotta treat the whole gang. (laughs) Okay. <laughs> what about these niggas? <laughs> Say, I, 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 I be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like all the, all the niggas that that dealt with you are all agree. These on niggas you. ain't shit. I ain't really get to experience a nigga that gave me his all instead of me giving him my all. Okay. So it's like I just can't wait to meet a nigga. Like I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Like I've been taking care of a lot of these niggas, man. Like can That's I sit theory. down? You rub my feet and uh-huh. pinkle my toes down. Okay. You feel me? He wasn't doing enough for me. Uh, he said, for the people that there, he said, Patch was rubbing the tools, though. That's shout crazy. Shout out to Patch, too. Shout out to Patch, man. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all got anything else? Yeah, I got I got something. Right. So, what was. Go ahead. What, so, I would say that the phone call you got, 
scouts would be looking at you, like TV scouts and shit like that. What's one message that you got to the scouts that's looking at you? What's right? What you mean? Like to the people that's looking at you, like scouting you for is. talent wise, all the brands. Like what you got to say to them? Yeah. I just feel like I ain't gonna lie. I feel like a lot of motherfuckers seen me grow up, so I know a lot of motherfuckers proud of me. I'm proud of myself, and I just wish the best for myself. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. Yeah. Cobble with them fucking beanies. $50, the price gonna stay the same, no negotiation. Y'all worrying about the podcast, y'all should be wearing the beanies. Bottom line. Bottom line. For for real. Anything that you want them to tune into before you? Say no. Y'all want to tell them, listen, shout out to all the podcasters. Listen, invite me to your next podcast because this was the best one so far. Ain't nothing. Nobody timing us. The fuck? It's the dog house. Y'all know I don't do the podcast. This is my first podcast. Oh, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, 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 it's a dog house. You got to have a bag. And it's a motherfucking rap. Different kind of cars and I went different kind of drips. I got way too many broads every day another bitch.